Hey YouTube, time for a shrimp update. Let's check it out. Alright YouTube, thought I would do another shrimp update. It's been a little while and uh, I've gotten some new additions to uh, my shrimp um, setups, so I uh, thought I would do it. We'll start here with uh, the lower grade crystal reds that uh, you guys have been seeing now for quite a few months in my fish room. Um, these guys are continuing to just breed like crazy, doing real good. Um, probably over a hundred in here. Um, I uh, recently took out a lot of the plants, thinned out plants and moved things around, took out some of the hardscape if you want to call it that, I don't know. And um, yeah, a lot more shrimp in here than I thought. There's probably over a hundred. I don't know if you can see in this mob here, but there are some, uh, oh there's one that's kind of flying by on the shelter there. There's some uh, blue pearls in here too. I had sold all my blue pearls, or I thought I did, but every so often another one would come out in that tank. Uh, so I would just pull them out and put them in here with these guys since they're not going to interbreed. Um, Blue Pearls are Neos so they're not going to breed with the Crystal Reds. Um, so just thought I'd throw them in here instead of uh, flushing them or whatever. Um, so yeah this tank's doing good. I got uh, mini Christmas moss growing along that side. Red moss growing here. And a little bit of uh, Buki, Busi, whatever you want to call it. Uh, growing there on the piece of choya wood. So yeah, things are doing really good in this tank. We'll move next door here to the uh, higher grade crystal blacks. Sorry, we'll get this thermometer out of the way. Um, these guys are doing great too. Really started breeding a lot lately, which makes me happy. I mean, I was down to hardly any of these left, and now I've got uh, 30 to 50. Always seeing a buried female in here too um, at any given time, so that's cool. I really expect this colony to take off uh, a lot more than it even has um, in the near future. So things are going good in this tank. Um, in here I've also got some anchor moss and some subwasser tang um, growing. And a little bit of red moss right here. But yeah, these guys are doing good. Uh, next door are the uh, higher grade crystal reds. Um, they're also starting to take off, not as much as the Crystal Blacks, but their population had, had been depleted even more than the Crystal Blacks. So I'm glad to see, um, you know, every so often I do notice uh, uh, some shrimplets and they have definitely been breeding, so that's good to know. Um, some more red moss here and some um, flame moss in that tank. Um, so yeah, that's what's going on there. Next door here is a new addition. You're not going to see very many, but I've got some PL, PRL, sorry. For those of you that aren't into shrimp and don't know a lot about them, PRL uh, is uh, pure red line, crystal reds. You're only going to get more crystal reds as these breed, whereas uh, the other ones you could possibly get other crystal blacks or crystal reds vice versa but I got these uh, from my good buddy uh, Daryl at DET Aquarium um, there's about 15 of them in here I think uh, most of them are smaller you can see these guys that I'm trying to zoom in on are a little bit smaller back there but they're gonna grow up not worried about it they're gonna be great this guy up front is uh, one of the bigger ones that I got he's uh, interested in the food I put in there for him uh, but yeah, Let's see if I can't zoom in. There's another smaller one just beyond that um, almond leaf there. Just wanted to focus on that so it's not really picking up the shrimp. But yeah, so I'm excited about that. Um, first set of PR or uh, pure red lines, so that's cool. But what I'm really excited about is next door here. I've got my first set of Taiwan bees, and as you can see, they're looking great. Um, nice size nice colors you've got some blue bolts some pandas some uh, BKKs some wine reds in there so a little bit of mixture so we'll see uh, what uh, what I get out of these and, and how everything works out but 
really enjoying these shrimp. First time I've had Taiwan bees. Um, just uh, hadn't been ready to uh, fork out the money for them in the past, but now that I'm feeling pretty established and things are stabilizing in some of my other tanks, I was ready to, to give these guys a try. So look at that blue bolt there, looking real nice. All of these are just looking really cool. I'm really happy with them. So, if you guys are looking for great shrimp, um, you know, check out Daryl D E T Aquarium on YouTube and Facebook. Um, he's got the stuff, man. Good prices, good shrimp, and uh, yeah. So, uh, down below is empty right now, but I have got um, some shrimp coming to fill that tank. So the next update, I'll, I'll fill you in on what's what's gone in in there. Um, oh, and in this tank too, we've got some mini pellia growing and a little bit of red moss. And up here too, I forgot to say that we've got some mini pellia growing there and a few crypts. So, uh, coming over here is uh, another new addition. These are the four new tanks that I recently set up. I think I covered that in my last video, but I got some uh, some nice royal blue tigers here from my buddy Rob. Um, You'll know him as Lump Diesel on YouTube. He's got a company called Flip Aquatics where he sells shrimp. And uh, I picked up, uh, I think uh, 15 of them or so from Rob recently. And I'd, I'd gotten some before, but I, they didn't all survive. No fault of his, total fault of mine. I didn't have my, my water parameters right. But now I've got everything dialed in, so I decided to pick up another order. And uh, looking forward to good things. Uh, with these guys so uh, just like with Daryl if you're looking for good quality shrimp and a ton of variety check out Rob um, Lump Diesel on YouTube um, Flip Aquariums is his uh, or Flip Aquatics I'm sorry is his uh, company name uh, down below we've got the red rillies that used to be over in one of the other tanks since I moved them they I haven't found any dead shrimp but they just aren't out as much as they were in the other tank Harder to see them. They don't seem to color up as much as they do on did on black substrate for me. But they're in here. Uh, thinking about getting rid of these and starting with with some type of a tiger in this tank. So I don't know if you're looking for red rillies, let me know. Maybe we can work something out, and I'll uh, send the whole colony to you um, if we can work out a good deal. So um, next door here are the carbon rillies. Possibly thinking about getting rid of those two but not quite as sure as the red rillies they're doing good i didn't think i had quite as many as i did but when i moved them from over on the other side of the room um boy i've got well over 50 there was a ton of them so they just seem to hide a lot i guess so they're doing good they're breeding all over the tank um just got some uh christmas moss in there over in this tank uh some uh or what do you call it, willow moss, and a little bit of uh, bouquet. Um, up here is an empty tank. Um, got some shrimp on the way for this tank too. Uh, so right now it's just got some uh, plants, uh, some mosses. This is mini Christmas moss, some bouquet on the piece of challah wood and choya wood, and then some red moss growing here. So, so that's the basement. Um, I'll take you upstairs to the last three tanks and I'll uh, show you what we got going there. Uh, this is just the uh, cherry red, red cherry tank. Um, a few different grades from low to higher in here. Um, they're doing good. They're bre oh, there's another. This is the tank that the blue pearls were in. There's another blue pearl I gotta yank out. That looks like a buried female on the heater, maybe. I can't zoom in. Anyway, they're doing good. Um, down here below my 90 gallon discus tank, we've got the yellow nails. They're still hanging in there. Um, there's some shrimplets in that pile right there, so they've been doing some breeding. Kind of cleared everything out of here. Oh, 
little bit of rose moss in there. Got a snail problem in there. Working on that with some assassin snails, but uh, yeah. And then the final tank is over here. And this tank has also some PRLs that I got from another guy. A little bit lower grade than the ones I got from Daryl, but they're still nice. Got a heck of a deal on them. I think I got 25 of them in here. Some over here too. Zoom is just not working well today, so sorry about that. But they're like some of the other newer ones, you know, it takes them a while for them to be out all the time and they don't always even take food right away, but uh, they're doing good. None of them have come up dead yet or anything, so that's good. But so, yeah, that's what I got going in the fish room or the shrimp room, I should say. The fish room will be another video. Um, so really enjoying the shrimp, really expanding what I'm doing as far as that goes. Uh, not going to stop doing the fish keeping at all, but I've just been getting into these guys lately. So that's what I can tell you. Um, as always, I want you to make sure that you uh, go check out Aquatic Support Community on Facebook. Um, join up that on that page and get to know the people and, and check out Aquatic Support Systems uh, business page as well. And make sure that you subscribe to all the members of Team Aquatic Support. Their uh, links will all be below. All a bunch of great guys. And uh, yeah, that's what I got for you now. Um, stay tuned. When I get the uh, next uh, two sets of shrimp in, I will update you on those. Thanks.